Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Stratter 5. Stratter is a superior well log, borehole, and cross-section plotting software package. In this video, I will cover how to load data into Stratter's internal data tables so you can create logs, maps, and cross-sections. Data can be entered manually into an empty table, imported into an existing table, or opened into a new table. Additionally, Multiple data files or sheets can be opened into new tables with one command. We will cover each of these cases in this video. If you don't have a data file, or you don't want to import your file, you can create an empty table and enter the data by typing or copying and pasting from another program. To create a new table, click the Home, New, Table command. In the Create New Table dialog, you will be prompted to determine what type of table to create and you will need to enter a name for your table. There are eight table types in Stratter. For information on these table types, please see the table types training video. Since most logs can be created from a depth or interval table, we will choose one of these to create now. When you click the Create button, an empty table is created. You can click in the cells to type values or you can copy values from another application and paste them into the cells. Now that we have a data table created, we can go over how to import data into an existing table. First, click in the cell where you want the import to start. Click File, Import Data. In the Import Data dialog, choose the data file or files you wish to import into the active table. Click Open. Since our data file contains multiple sheets, we will need to choose which sheet or sheets to import. In the Specify Worksheet Column Definitions dialog, we define which rows to import. If the data file has a header row, like ours does, check the checkbox next to Specify Column Header Row. Set the Specify Starting Row box to the first row after the column header, or any row after that where you wish to begin the import. If you want to limit the import so it stops before the end of your file, check the box next to Specify Ending Row and enter the last row you wish to import. Additionally, if desired, you can select a column in the Data File Preview and change the name in the Column Name box. Click Next when you finalize the settings in this dialog. In the Import Data into Current Table dialog, we map the data columns on the left to the table columns on the right. You'll notice that the Whole ID and Depth Table columns already have filled Import Source columns. This is because the header of the data file matches the table header, so Stratter automatically maps these columns. To map the remaining table column, select the table column and the appropriate data column, then click the right arrow icon in the center. Since we have one additional data column that isn't in the list, we can click the Add Column button to add it. If you had many of these additional columns, you could instead click the Create Columns from Source button to create a table column for each data column with a different header name than the table has. Click Import to finish the import. If your table isn't yet created but you have a data file you want to open, you can use the File Open command. In the Open dialog, select the data file to import and click Open. Again, if the file contains multiple sheets, select the sheet to open and click OK. The Specify Worksheet Column Definitions dialog is the same one we saw before, so we'll just accept the defaults and click Next. In the Specify Data Type and Column Positions dialog, we choose what type of table we want to create, and we map the data columns to the table columns. Stratter uses the column headers to try to determine the table type for you, but if you want another type than the one it chooses, you can select it from the Data Type drop-down list. Stratter also tries to match the data columns to table columns, but you can change these by selecting the appropriate data column from the drop-down list next to the table column name. All data columns not mapped to a table column 
will be appended onto the end of the table as new columns with their data column names. Click Finish to open the data file in a new table. Similar to this process, if you have multiple data files or sheets that you would like to open into different table types, you can use the File, Open Multiple Data Files command. In the Open Data dialog, choose the data file or files you wish to open, then click Open. Select the sheet or sheets you want to open, then click OK. Notice in the Specify Worksheet Column Definitions dialog, you can see the file name and sheet in the title bar. Since you will see this dialog and the Specify Data Type and Column Positions dialog for each file or sheet you've chosen, this helps you make decisions about the data formatting and the desired table type. These two dialogs are the same that we saw from the previous open process. So we'll click Next and Finish to accept the defaults and move on. Each of the files or sheets you chose is opened in a new table. This concludes the training video for loading data into Strator 5. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.